I'm actually going to go through create each section. So the intro, verse, chorus. But as I create each section, I'm going to manipulate the MIDI and come up with a drum part as I go that I think fits the song. So let's start with the intro. And for the intro, I'm just going to use actually a verse variation. Once again, you can break the rules. I don't have to use intro variations for the intro of my actual song. And actually, I want you to listen halfway through. There's that open hi-hat. I actually don't want that in there. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drag that mini block in and just use, zoom in a little bit here. I'm going to use a quarter of it. Now I don't get that open hi-hat, so I'm actually going to use that for my intro, and I'm going to copy and paste it, but before I do that, I want to have a side stick as well. So I'm going to double click, go into edit play style, click on the snare drum, actually right click, go to articulation, and I want a side stick. Okay, I do have my side stick, but it's a bit quiet. So I'm going to actually increase the velocity of just the snare drum in the edit play style. And this is going to be a subtle difference, but I want to make sure I'm getting pretty much max velocity with that side stick. I want that to be nice and present, or as present as I can get in Easy Drummer 2. We're actually going to make some adjustments later on in Superior Drummer 2, but we'll talk about that later. So right now, I just made a minor velocity adjustment for the side stick only. The other thing I want to do is go to the bass drum. And I don't want the bass drum as busy. I want this to be simple because this is the intro. So I'm going to use the amount knob on the bass drum and just click it down one notch. You can hear that simplify the bass drum. I don't have that pickup note right before each downbeat. So I'm happy with that. I'm actually going to option click on a Mac here and copy that over. So now I have a couple of these. I'm going to move the windows down actually just a little bit so that we can see what measure we're on. Start on measure two. So what I need to do at that point is get rid of that crash symbol. So I'm in the edit play style. I'm just going to turn off that opening hit. So measure four now does not have that crash symbol. We only have it at the beginning. Now I could copy these over, but I actually do like that open hi-hat for the second half of the intro. So I'm going to drag the entire block in. Again, this is the verse variation one, but I just want the first half of it. So that way at measure nine, get that open hi-hat, but we still have to make the same changes that we did for these first two blocks. So I double click, bass drum, I wanna simplify, snare drum, I want to use side stick articulation and we're going to up the velocity just a little bit. Now we should have our entire intro. Let's take a listen. Yeah, I'm going to take that crash symbol out. We should have that open hi hat which I like, that'll lead nicely into the verse. All right, so we're at measure 10. This is now verse one, and we're gonna use the same variation that we did before. So this verse variation number one. So I'll go ahead and pull that in. And what I actually want to do in this one is same thing I did before. I'm gonna use the first quarter of it. So we'll go all the way down, use the first quarter, just like we did in the intro. And we're gonna make similar adjustments. I still want a side stick. I want a simplified bass drum. So let's go ahead and double click, go into edit play style. We'll go ahead and have an opening hit for this first one. We right click on the snare drum, side stick only, up the velocity a bit. We'll go to the bass drum and we'll simplify it. I'm going to copy it over, so option click on a Mac. 
And on this block here, I want to get rid of the open hit. I don't want that open hit happening every time. Now I'm gonna copy this over a couple more times. And now I have my entire verse, minus the fill. We'll do the fills later, let's take a listen. So for the chorus, once again, I'm going to use another verse variation. I'm going to use this variation number four. And this time I'm actually just going to use this entire block as is. However, I'm going to go into the edit play style. Opening hits fine. I'm going to go to the hi-hat and I'm actually going to bring the amount down just a bit. If we take a listen as it is, measure 18. It's a lot of extra hi-hat notes in there, and that's fine, but I still wanna keep things fairly simple at this point. This is just the first chorus. We're also going to the snare drum. We're no longer on the side stick, so that's going to be a bit of a musical change. So that'll help the song progress a bit anyway, but I don't want all of those extra hi-hat notes. So I'm going to bring that down to, let's say 47. So I just went down three notches, and let's take a listen now. Measure 18, so this is the first chorus. So basically just cleaned up a lot of those extra hi-hat notes. So for verse two, same thing. So we're using this verse variation number one. Actually, let's go back and we'll take a look. So here's my first verse. We use the first quarter of that variation and we are using the side stick articulation. We brought up the velocity and we simplified the bass drum. Now I could create that all again. But what I'm actually going to do is just copy and paste it in. So we need these four blocks. So I'll select them, option click, I'm just going to drag it over. So for the second chorus, we're gonna use this variation number four again, not really changing anything. We could actually copy and paste. And I'm showing you this because if you aren't making too many changes between verse and chorus, you just need something simple. It's just a quick way to go. Option click, and now I have my chorus. For the bridge, I'm gonna select this chorus variation number two. It's a little busier, goes to the ride symbol. I think that will fit nicely, so I'm gonna drag that in here. If we take a listen as is, I don't like that upbeat bass drum that happens right before the snare. Listen again. I think it gets in the way. So I'm just gonna go into the edit play style, bring the amount knob down. So this is down two notches. I think I like that better. All right, so now we are at the third chorus and we're gonna go back to first variation number four once again. We're gonna go into the edit play style and I want a ride symbol here. All the extra hi-hat notes that we got rid of in the previous choruses, by the way, that will actually work well here. Those extra notes fit because we're on the third chorus. Things should build. I do want the ride symbol to be played. All I have to do in edit play style for chorus number three is take the power hand, drag it over to the ride symbol, and now that same hi-hat pattern is being played on the ride symbol. Now 
Now the only thing, it's a little bit soft, so I want to bring up the velocity a bit. And we'll run with that. So I just brought the velocity up a couple notches on the ride cymbal so that it wasn't so quiet. So now we just have the outro and we are going to go back to verse variation one, just like we did before. I'm gonna go ahead and drag this in and we're gonna use the first quarter once again. Double click, go into the edit play style. I actually don't want the opening hit here because we're kind of breaking things down and for the bass drum. Actually, I'm gonna leave the bass drum as is, but let's bring in the side stick and we'll bring up the velocity just like we did before. Let's make a copy of it. So I'm only gonna make one copy because things actually break down even more halfway through this outro. So let's listen from measure 58. This is the beginning of the outro. Listen to the chords here. See, so now we have some chords that are just held. So we want a drum part that is very simple at this point. So I'm gonna grab verse variation one, and I'm gonna use the first half. If you remember, we have a little bit of an open hi-hat at the end, which I like, I wanna keep that. Let's go into edit play style. Let's make sure we get our side stick articulation. Up the velocity, I do not want an opening hit. And I am going to simplify the bass drum. I don't want these double bass drum hits. I just want very simple bass drum. So now we have a little bit of a contrast. And that's the reason for this first half, I kept a couple of those extra bass drum notes in. And we may edit that later, but I want there to be a little bit of a difference between the first half of the outro and the second half. All right, let's take a listen. Measure 58, this is the outro once again. <laughs> You can see simplifying the bass drum makes sense there. It goes along with the music. And that open hi-hat works well for the end of the song. However, we do need to put a final hit in there. So I'm gonna bring the variation one in again. And what we're gonna do actually is just really bring this in. Let me zoom in even more. So we wanna trim this block as much as we possibly can. What we can actually do is go into edit play style and I can remove the MIDI for the snare drum, remove the MIDI for the hi-hat. Now I just have bass drum and the crash cymbal which should work just fine. So now we have a general drum part that I think will work nicely. Now we still have a lot to do. There's some adjustments we will make and we need to add drum fills. So that's gonna be the next thing that we add to this drum part.